The Scope 2 is one of the newest gimbals from Fairytech. It's perfect for small to medium cameras. Here are some of the best features and modes for solo filmmakers. The first feature is the built-in AI tracking module. Use gesture control to toggle shutter and record. Start and stop tracking or reframe the camera position. Use the OK gesture to start and stop tracking. Make sure your hand is visible to the AI camera on the side. The red light will turn green when tracking. Spread your palm wide to start recording or capture photos. The green light will start blinking to count down before shutter. To engage customer framing, use the double L-shaped gestures. The gimbal will pause tracking, allowing you to move positions. The green light will blink until you repeat the gesture to resume tracking. To stop tracking, use the two thumbs in opposite directions. The camera will stop tracking and the green light will turn red. You can also use the first OK gesture to stop tracking. For best results, I find using a wide lens and filming in bright environments. This allows you to get closer to the gimbal, making it easier for the tracker to pick up your gestures. We all know about the vortex mode. To enable this, select automatic rotation. Choose your speed and direction. The Scorp 2 will automatically rotate, allowing you to hold the gimbal with two hands and making it more stable. You can capture panoramic photos using the Scorp 2. Choose the panoramic shooting mode and select your lens frame, or use auto selection. The Scorp 2 will automatically start taking portable photos in different positions. You can then merge the photos in your photo editing program to create a panorama photo. To make a hyperlapse, select hyperlapse mode and input your settings. Make sure the gimbal follow speed is set to slow. This will reduce how much the gimbal responds to your hand movements, making it a lot smoother. Then start walking slow and steady, keeping your gimbal as still as possible. For best results, use a wide lens to capture as much of the environment and emphasize the movement. You can also exaggerate this by including symmetry in your frame. In post, simply speed up your frame and add some motion blur and stabilization. To capture a time lapse, select static time lapse and enter your settings. Make sure your camera is connected to the gimbal with the appropriate cables. The gimbal will control the camera and start taking photos. When capturing fast movement, light traffic, reduce the shutter speed to introduce motion blur. Add the photos to your video editing program and create your time lapse. Take your time lapse to the next level by introducing movement. Select motion lapse and enter your settings. Then select the gimbal start and finish points. You can set multiple positions throughout the time lapse. Preview the time lapse to confirm your positions, then start your time lapse. 